Have you heard of the KISS acronym? Keep it short and sweet or keep it so simple? Well, this feature called using inline replies, it has been a KISS and you will love it. It's short, sweet, and simple. Let's put them all together. Here I am in my inbox and in my inbox, I'm just going to do a typical everyday, how people have always done this in the past, reply method. You can click on the message and when you click on the message, go to the home tab and here's reply, reply all, and forward. Or in the past, you open the message. I'll just double click to open it. And when I open the message, there's reply, reply all, and forward. Now that's how it used to be. That's the old school way. Let's look at the fast inline reply option. Let me go ahead and click on the X to close out of the message. Inline reply requires that you go to the view tab and on the view tab, be sure you go to the layout group and turn your reading pane on. Mine's turned on at the right, but it could be on at the bottom. But if it's turned off, then you don't have the pane that you need to use the inline reply. So let me turn the reading pane back on, turn it on to the right, and now I can see in the reading pane the content of the message that I want to respond to. Now I'm going to accidentally click forward because there's forward reply and reply all. Look what happened. The reading pane automatically adjusted to my forward message. So now who do I want to send it to? The carbon copy, the blind carbon copy, and then down here, this would be where the message goes. And I was just typing gobbledygook in there because I'm going to discard this one. But in the real world, if you make a mistake, you just click discard. Isn't that easy? In the real world, what I really wanted to do was hit reply. You know the difference between reply and reply all, right? Reply all would send a rep reply or response to everyone who's participating in the email. Reply is only to the sender. And by the way, I sent this to myself. And then that way you can see that it quickly and easily works because the response to this email is going to come right back to this inbox. So I'm going to go ahead and hit reply. And it's this wonderful feature that says, well, it's right here. It's right here in your reading pane. You don't have to open up any extra windows. You don't have to do anything fancy, nothing large, big and in charge. It's just here. And everything is set up. And now I just want to type in the message, thanks. That's all. And hit send. And what just happened then is it sent the email. I'm right back to my reading pane. And my email is on its way. And in just, just a moment, it'll pop back in for us. There it is right there. There's my reply to the email that I just sent. Isn't that awesome? Well, I also want to show you one last thing. I'm going to click on reply for this example, but it works with reply, reply all, and forward. And that's this pop out feature. And what pop out does for you is when you click pop out, it simply makes the message take up the entire screen because possibly the little reading pane isn't quite large enough for your purposes. So you can at any time pop it out. And then when you're finished with the pop out, you would of course hit the send, the two, or whatever it might be. I'm going to go ahead and click the X to X out of it, which brings me right back to my little reading pane. So wouldn't you agree that this is very short and sweet? They kept it very simple on here and they said, let's make it easy for people to preview their messages using the reading pane. And then we can hit the reply button, reply all or forward right there using what's called inline replies.